that density. But Inkling, if it's going to be any kind of character, they're the type to dominate a matchup like this. And going straight with the parry on the neutral air, not even caring about the second hit. Waiting just outside of range for the ledge trap. Oh, but here we go. Inkling completely ruining Garrett Gannon's um, prized cape. It's Jerish. He does not like the golden cover e color, even though he kind of covets it. Yeah, he actually just has some gold on the cape. Before it was even now it's more gold. No try force for you, buddy. Oh goodness, you can't just do that. The man was just coming out of spawn. You didn't need to parry. I know Ganondorf does a lot of shield damage, but no, you can just run away for a little bit. But if he's but of course if Ganondorf gets a stage control, you're in the corner, that is his moment. His time to shine. Inkling just having too many tools to stay at a safe distance outside of that Gendorf range. Yep. While still able to throw out so many things, so many- OH! PINGS ON THE MIND! Yeah, a little too greedy. Oh, great recovery using that downbeat just to get in range of the ledge! I like it. That's some main stuff. That's some stuff you're not gonna be able to do unless you know, know so much about the character. All right. Oh, he had the read. Execution was ever so slightly off. It was that like 50-50 chance to get the guess. Um, that would have covered a neutral tech, and uh, and if he timed it a little bit, a little bit worse, it would have covered rolling as well. It also covered get up attack, like with a timing that he chose to, chose a get up option. But he can choose a get up option whenever. Yep, and then the edge guarding ability Inkling has. Woo me. Gandor appears to be thinking about his life choices right now. I suppose it might be even more of a favorite matchup for the Mario, given that if he's given a little bit, he'll take that much off. Yep. And he's I also got Flood the moment Gendorf's off stage. I don't know, I felt like he had a winning formula last time. Indeed. The projectiles are... Oh! And the ledge traps, yeah. you're going to put Gendorf in, in a ledge... Indeed. You're going to, you're going to put... Gendorf in a ledge guard situation so many times. Having those great ledge traps with England is going to be too precious. And this man just chose to roll towards the stage right after Gendorf had that read last game. That read is go that data is going to going to flow between matches, and he's going to get every single tech from here. Oh, okay. Good out of shield option, just not enough dice. Not gonna quite see a rock rock, but still we have Mario in a rough spot. 86%, that's just, Gendor could sneeze on him, I bet. But Mario packing up, steady, steady. And the moment he, <laughs> the moment he saw that knockback angle, Mario chose a very prudent time to air dodge there. I admire it, he's not overextending his combos and he knows when Gendorf can fight back. And boy, is he fighting back right now. Again, if we're trying to sneeze, he finally did. Gendorf curiously going for the high jump despite Big Flood being right there. Okay. And just a miss space side B will be his end for the time being, but it's even game. And that's more than a lot of Ganondorf's Gen can hope for. But no, back air into reverse up tilt from Mario. Not packing up as much damage as I'd expect, but still love the execution this is a mix-up time no just going to go for the safe damage extra up airs pop him up a little bit more and see what he does to try to land oh not quite going to get it the ending lag on Gendorf. neutral air being more generous than mario would anticipate okay big hits no 
Oi, the spacing, the standing is just off. Mario went right on top of Ganondorf, and he got pushed by the collision. <laughs> oh, my God. And that will be the unfortunate end of Bloody Knight. He had the he had this game-ending read, but the collision just being ever so slightly not in his favor. You okay there? Yeah, just just pondering about about how I would play against that matchup. Like, I probably play a lot more passively against Ganondorf. I probably only go in 90% of the, 10% of the time when I, I, was, I was thinking when about I some of the heavies I've like had to play over. recently, like Pee Priana, King Didi, but they also have a range move that's actually such a huge part of their um, like, character. But Ganondorf, though, is really just all, no, all melee. When I think of, when I think of Piranha Plant, oh, I think of King Didi. I'm gonna go with King Didi first. Ganondorf's Gordo is not useful in neutral. If you know how it works, it should not be an entity, period, in neutral. If anything, you, it, he ought to be regretting whenever he pulls it out. But on the ledge, for ledge traps, it is a very oppressive tool. But you have to be losing for that to happen in the first place. And the point I was, I was just trying to make is, is Ganondorf the only heavy character that actually has no ranged abilities? I mean, Bowser got the fire. That, 